Good morning, uh, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in the world, and welcome to the next podcast of Andy Colley Talks Wicket Memorabilia. I'm going to go into a few more values today on uh, postcards, which um, I've accumulated rather a lot of over the years, um, which you can, as you know, last week we started on a few little entry levels of uh, duplicate cards and uh, not uh, original cards. So I'm going to have another go at that today. But um, just first off, I'm going to just do a little sequence in the next couple of weeks of uh, panoramics. Uh, this one's a panoramic of uh, Sydney Cricket Ground on the 18th of December, uh, 1920. This was Jack Kern's copy. A beautiful photograph, as I say. It's got a photograph of each of the MCC players on tour. FC2 on the top there. Um, the crowd is over 40,000 in that in that day, so uh, that's rather a nice uh, picture, that one. I've got a few uh, um, panoramic photographs. Unfortunately, the girl that um, framed this, there's a little bit of writing underneath here, which you can't see anymore, but anyway, I know I've uh, got the um, date and that on the top there. So um, that was Jack Hearn, the Middlesex MCC player. That was his copy many years ago, so I uh, bought that auction. It came in a little roll, actually, the uh, the... Uh, photograph and uh, she's unrolled it and put it in a frame for me so uh, it's quite uh, a nice uh, item that one anyway so we're going to go into a few uh, postcards today i'm going to start off with these this lovely set of four west indian young west indians these ones um from about 1905 six something like that um this one's entitled uh it's in St Lucia this one, ladies in St Lucia and there's an important match there in um, Barbados um, but you see on the back there on this one this has been written on you've got a line down the middle there which um, after 1905 that's when that was put in um, so you could write your address and uh, a bit of correspondence on either side otherwise they were scribbled on all over the place so I'll show you one of those in a minute but that's a rather nice set there and that's uh, I mean they're quite rare those ones so um, I'm thinking there's probably going to be an auction, I'll give you an auction price, probably about £40, something like that. Quite a rare set, so uh, pleased with those. Um, we get comic um, postcards as well, which are pretty pretty standard and um, fairly cheap to uh, acquire. This one's about three or four pounds, this one, so uh, this is uh, a collision in mid-wicket. There's a series of those uh, postcards which are quite interesting. A very popular set in the past, not quite so much these days, um, is the Kinsella Kids. There's six of these in the set. Um, the rarer one is the uh, Umpire. So I went into my house one day in, uh, I can't remember what it was, near Farnham or somewhere, and they proudly had all the five, these five up there, um, and missing the uh, Umpire. So I said, well, unfortunately there's six in the set, so... Uh, they weren't very happy when they realised there was another one, but there. But these for a set of these days are probably going to come in at thirty-five pounds, something like that, for uh, an auction price. But quite a nice little set, that quite endearing. Now, yeah, here's a here's a pre-1905 card here, which was addressed to uh, Arthur Fielder. Um, this is just after the 1903-4 tour. And it's got a nice uh, photograph there of um, Elizabeth Street Station. Uh, and the writing, as you can see, is all on the front here. Um, and that was uh, virtually telling him he had a, what sort of time he had. And uh, nice to meet um, him on the tour. So this must have got back to him just after he got back March, April 1904. So that must have been on the next ship over, I should think. And then uh, what we here? Uh, there's a couple of nice postcards here of Australian ones. This is a 1903 test match here with a 1906 postcard um, at Sydney. Ah, uh, sorry, Melbourne. Um, that's a 1903 test match and, and progress there um, with the uh, 1906 with the line down the back. Uh, always nice to have, um, I think, a bit of writing on the back as well. This one's fairly. Uh, um, liberal on this one, um, uh, 1906, 20th of 5th, 1906, that one. So that's quite a nice uh, card. This one here is uh, Sydney. A, this is a copper style postcard. 
again written on the back there this one might come in at uh, I imagine probably about 20 or 25 pound that one quite a nice postcard uh, as I say a bit of history on the back as well this proves it's uh, been around the world which is quite nice uh, now some rare ones here this one's not quite complete this one but these are called envelope cards this one uh, it's got uh, if you open it up there's a panoramic there of um, Sydney Cricket Ground and then on the back of that is um, Sydney Harbour and, and uh, the post office of Sydney so it gives you a nice historical view of uh, quite a lot of Sydney and it's called a wallet card an envelope card um, this one's 1906 again so obviously a popular um, time 1906 for postcards this one's complete this uh, wallet card and this one's um, got a panoramic of Melbourne there which is a lovely uh, photograph there of Melbourne and the Fleming Fleming Park where they um, won the Melbourne Cup and back there we've got uh, Brighton Beach and another scene from the Cup Day at uh, Melbourne so quite a nice postcard there these ones were addressed to uh, a James Wallace in Liverpool um, so he must have been pleased to receive that but they're, they're quite an expensive item those I mean when I bought those there was £150 worth of uh, postcards together so, uh, and it is a one I've shown on, uh, on um, Facebook before this is a very rare postcard this one of uh, Harold Larwood down at Sussex you can see the uh, Sussex um, there's a wall running down the back there with a little um, picket fence there um, which is quite a nice postcard he's actually in his second 11 cap there so that's an early Harold Larwood which will probably set you back I would say £50 at auction it's a nice card that's um, nice of Brighton that card there in the box in the bottom there a newer card is this one here we just had a celebration of uh, Morris and Gower and the tiger moth over and uh, the cricket ground and that's a, a card celebration this is um, uh, an edition of uh, 1000 so uh, quite a new one that one obviously 1991 but uh, on the back there quite a nice card a bit of a uh, nice to go back on that little memory there that uh, didn't go down very well with the uh, establishment so got a nice postcard here um, there's a few of these come up at auction a few months ago. This one's 1935. It's got a nice stamp of the Jubilee there, 1935. On the back there, it's got some Yorkshire players on there, including Heavy Verity, Arthur Wood, on the back there, which is uh, that's quite a nice car. That's probably going to be at least £50, pound, 40 to £50, pound, I think, that one at auction. New card. This one's from uh, Adelaide, um, showing the Don Brabham stand and obviously not there anymore it's all changed now so uh, that's a nice card this is a 90s card as well I think this one so anyway we go on to um, sign cards now this one is uh, signed uh, Tom Hayward of Surrey but I'll show you some Surrey ones this is uh, Tom Hayward um, lovely signature up his uh, up the leg there which uh, shows nicely and that's probably going to be seventy pound, fifty to seventy pound all day long, I think, at uh, auction. Um, so that's a nice card. One here of the old Elf Gover. And I've got a couple of Elf Gover signed cards. So that one's uh, you're probably going to get these ones for about fifteen pound each. I should think something like that, ten to fifteen pound. But uh, nice is sitting there in uh, his uh, blazer. This one here is uh, VVS or VFS. Crawford, nice sign card there. That's going to set you back a little bit to auction. Um, that's uh, quite a rare card, that one. That is a, uh, a wrench card. Again, probably going to cost you £50, I think, for that one. Quite a rare signature. Nice condition. Nice condition. Jack Cobb's one here with his uh, Waterman's pens. That's going to set you back 40 to 60 pounds at auction, I should think. That one, um, very nice postcard. That one, nice signature, too. Uh, this one is uh, Herbert Strudwick with his force bats. Once uh, 
that's his 1903 blazer and cap there good photograph of um, young Struddy so that's going to be that's probably going to be 35 to 40 pound auction I should think that's a nice image there's a few of force bats um, I think Tarrant was another popular one that uh, does force bats but that's quite nice and Jack Hobbs of course this one is a this is a particularly rare postcard this one this is a 1907 tour to uh, Australia with Jack Hobbs at the top here and uh, Humphreys and hard staff down the bottom here uh, they're at a gold mine in Australia where they're on tour and this one's uh, again written by Jack Hobbs on the back which makes it even better yours Jack to a relative or friend in uh, Clapham Common West Side I did actually go to the house to find uh, to see what it was like and uh, unfortunately they weren't in so to tell them that um, somebody related to Jack Hobbs was uh, living in their house Anyway, that's a nice postcard that one. So uh, that's a little view of some of the some of the many many postcards in the collection. So we might go into a few more next week or uh, some other bits and pieces. Uh, there's all sorts of values you can do. Obviously, uh, the last few years things have started to drop a little bit, but um, as uh, anything you buy, if it's quality, it will always sell and keep its price. So, uh, but again, if you love it and you like what you see and it's uh, your thing why don't you just buy it so it's uh, it's always there to buy if you love it uh, just get hold of it but um, just one good tip if it's quality it will always sell so anyway uh, that's all for this week and I'll see you on the next one